If you can dream it, you can build it. Dream of designing a device, a device that will change our lives. Now imagine you can make it happen. Make it real. Make it fast and powerful. Make it intelligent and make it learn. Make it analyze and predict. Make it fun and creative. Make it look sharp and gorgeous. Make it friendly, user-friendly. Make it efficient and productive. Make it smart and connected. Make it prevalent and extensive. Make it secure and protected. Make it safer and autonomous. Make it sound clear and pure. Make it speak and understand. Make it free, truly wire-free. Make it sweat and stay in shape. Make it move and sense all around you. Make it grow and make it nourishing. Make it all happen with SIVA. SIVA licenses ultra-low power smart sensing and wireless connectivity solutions. SIVA's IP powers more than 10 billion devices worldwide. Dream it and make it with SIVA. Uh, okay, hello everybody and thanks for joining the SIVA virtual seminar. My name is Konstantin and I'm managing uh, the sound processing software technology related activities at SIVA. Today, I'll try to explain what we do here in SIVA to help our customers to execute their neural network based projects on SIVA DSP cores. We will talk uh, about Google TensorFlow Lite for microcontrollers and as a case study, we will show how SIVA with Proway Quart Engine a, which has a neural network model inside, was easily ported to be executed by TensorFlow Lite uh, Micro uh, framework. Okay, so let's start. Uh, as, you, as most of you probably know, TensorFlow Lite is an end-to-end -end open source platform for machine learning developed by Google. Okay, the TensorFlow Lite is an open source deep learning framework for the on-device inference, which means this is a set of tools and codes uh, mainly made for running the inference on the, on the devices. Okay, going one step forward, TensorFlow Lite for microcontrollers is an experimental port of the uh, TensorFlow Lite, okay, mainly done to run machine learning models, small machine running, uh, uh, machine, uh, learning models on the microcontrollers and the other devices which has very limited resources, mainly the memory. Okay, so it is a supported three, uh, three configurations. First of, uh, first of uh, it, it's a bare metal, okay, which does not require any operating system to, uh, to be run uh, on. Uh, it has no standard uh, library support uh, require, requirement. Okay, that means that it is a uh, self-including. Okay, everything is inside. Okay, and it has no dynamic memory allocation, uh, which means that uh, uh, on your uh, device you will need to uh, you will need to manage uh, manage the required memory uh, by yourself without any needed support uh, from the operating system or uh, any other uh, higher level uh, higher level uh, OS-like uh, frameworks. Okay, uh, but it has, uh, together with all of these benefits, it has the uh, limitations. Okay, and uh, all of them are stated by Google. And by the way, most of the information uh, in uh, my presentation with regards to the uh, TensorFlow Lite Micro taken from the uh, uh, Google website, which is the tensorflow.org. Okay, so the limitations we are talking about are the support for limited subset of TensorFlow operations. Okay, which means uh, 
it does not support all the uh, layers or uh, operator types that uh, TensorFlow Lite supports, but uh, it is constantly updated and uh, the guys are adding uh, uh, more and more every day, uh, sometimes with our help. Okay, so it has a support of the limited set of uh, devices. Okay, it uh, has the uh, C++ low level API, which is uh, requiring you to do the memory management. Uh, so it's a, you know, it's a kind of a trade off in some way. It's, a, it's better for you because you can tune your devices to be uh, more uh, effective. Okay, and the other side, you will need to do this. Okay, there is uh, nobody uh, that will do the garbage collection for you. Okay, and the, the last one, the, the training, the training on device is not supported yet. Let's continue. So what is the workflow that uh, the developer has to, uh, to go for uh, to port his uh, model to be run on the TensorFlow Lite for the microcontrollers? First of all, uh, the developer has to obtain the TensorFlow, TensorFlow model, which uh, has a few uh, requirements, uh, like uh, the first one is the model must be small enough to fit on your target device after the conversion, right? We are not going to uh, look at the, something very, very, very big and they're trying to run it on a small, a small controller, like, you know, something that is uh, uh, based inside your uh, earbuds or anything like that. The other thing is that the model uh, can use only the supported operations, okay? Because if you go with the, the complete set of the TensorFlow Lite, the, the chances that it will, uh, it, it will go down to the TensorFlow Lite micro uh, are, not, uh, are not big. Okay, so uh, before, before, going, uh, before going into this journey, before, before starting this journey, you need to, uh, you need to be sure that the a set of the neural, uh, neuron, uh, neuron layers and the operators uh, is uh, supported by the TensorFlow Lite Micro uh, framework. Okay, the next stage is uh, converting the model to a TensorFlow Lite uh, flat buffer. Okay, which is a, a actually a conversion to a quantized model. Okay, it, it actually significantly reduces the memory footprint and the, the, efficient, the, the efficiency of the execution will be uh, definitely increased. Okay, then we need to convert the flat buffer model to a C byte array to be uh, ready for integration uh, with, the library of, uh, with the library of TensorFlow Lite Micro. Okay, and all of these conversions, well, by the way, all of these conversions done by, by standard tool, we will talk about it in, in a minute. Okay, and the, uh, the step number four is the integration, it's the actual integration of TensorFlow like microcontroller library together with your model inside your, uh, inside your device. Okay, because uh, most, uh, as, uh, as most of you probably know, the uh, neural, way, uh, neural network based uh, application doesn't require, doesn't uh, based on the net, just, just the network itself. Okay, it requires uh, another things like the, uh, feature extraction or sometimes the post-processing of the outcome, uh, outcome of the network. Okay, so you need to integrate your, uh, you need to integrate your uh, TensorFlow like micro uh, uh, runtime plus the, uh, plus the addition of the model into your uh, application. Okay, which is actually a pretty, uh, pretty simple job. And the last thing is, uh, you know, deploy, deploy to your device, I mean, integrate your application inside your uh, OS or non-OS non uh, based framework uh, to, run, to run your device use case. Uh, steps one to three, uh, the conversion itself of the model can be executed easily using the standard tools provided and supported by Google, which is a, a, pretty, simple, a pretty simple and straightforward task. According, if you if you follow if you follow the uh, gu guidelines uh, supplied by Google, okay. And step four is the actual integration of the library. As a, a, as I already said, we we here in Siva made the, the TensorFlow Lite microcontroller available uh, for microcontrollers uh, library available as a C C++ optimized library for the uh, BX family, of course, uh, that uh, my colleague Yuval mentioned before BX1 and BX2. Okay, this means that uh, all the or all the operators, all the operators of this library are optimized to be uh, run efficiently on uh, these cores. Okay, so the uh, integration and the uh, tasks uh, that uh, uh, that 
you need to do need, need to do in order to put your uh, your model to run on the cores are uh, pretty fast okay pretty fast and uh, easy and uh, actually minimizing minimizing the uh, the effort and the the actual error uh, possibility okay so uh, you only need to uh, make the correct uh, features feature extraction for your uh, application and the, uh, on the other side, you need to uh, make use uh, the uh, inference results, make use of the inference results by connecting it to, I don't know, to, to, to some, uh, some, some kind of post-processing uh, post -processing, uh, result or a output, uh, output uh, uh, procedures. Okay, and the, uh, the last stage is the deploying to the device. Uh, Actually, a Siva set of a software development tools, which called Siva Toolbox, makes uh, makes the device deployment seamless. Okay, it's pretty straightforward task. Okay, so with regards to the uh, what we have done on a uh, Siva BX course, so TensorFlow Light Micro uh, runtime was ported to Siva BX uh, cores, uh, and the, uh, currently it is uh, optimized for Siva BX uh, cores, which means all the in byte uh, Byte crunching and build, uh, uh, byte crunching uh, operations, multiplications was uh, was uh, optimized. Okay, and uh, we have uh, we have this library uh, actually available from from Google directly. Okay, and uh, moreover, she was an actual contributor to, for this project because we are helping uh, Google adding more and more uh, operators into the main uh, into the mainstream uh, into the mainstream uh, of the code by uh, uh, help, helping them to put uh, to port uh, operators from the TensorFlow Lite platform into the TensorFlow Lite Micro. Okay, uh, the TensorFlow Lite Micro, as I said, it was a uh, core optimized uh, for a minimal cycle count and the smallest footprint, footprint possible. Uh, TensorFlow Lite Micro on CWBX can be easily integrated into the existing applications. Uh, in case of uh, our uh, wake word processing uh, engine, it was uh, requiring only five line of codes uh, to be modified. And we will look on, uh, on this uh, in a minute. Okay, this is the slide you have already seen. Uh, it was presented by my colleague Yuval. Uh, and the, the only uh, thing I wanted to, uh, to be focused on is on the uh, first two lines. Okay, so we are talking about the handcrafted uh, wake word detection engine, okay, that, that was trained and developed by uh, by Siva uh, for uh, to, to be supplied to our customers as a half a software and the service package. I mean, half is a software and half is a service because we can customize, we can customize, we and we can train the uh, requested the, the requested wake word according to your or, or your customers' needs. Okay, and the second thing is that it was specifically designed for always listening. That means it must be very, very effective and requiring a minimal, minimal power. So let's go on. And here, uh, as you may say, the diagram, uh, diagram of the flow at the right side, uh, actually we uh, have a data collection, which is the uh, system I of staff, which means uh, uh, we need to uh, bring the, the PCM samples in to be processed. The second stage is the feature extraction, okay, which is uh, made by uh, one of the functions inside the, the DSP libraries we supply uh, together with our tools. Okay, uh, like I would uh, mention uh, the MFCC, the ML, ML filter bank instruction, uh, feature extraction uh, functions that we supply as well. And then we, we execute the neural network model that we trained here in Siva, okay, which is actually relies on the neural network libraries and the DSP libraries because we use functions, functions from both of them to implement the network topology we, we chosen, we're chosen here in Siva. Okay, and at the end, we uh, have a, a code which handles the inference, inference results in, a, let's say, if we talk about the demos, uh, so we light, uh, light some LEDs, okay, uh, or uh, play, some, uh, play some noises uh, uh, with regards to uh, uh, the uh, way code was detected. In case of the real device, we are actually, you know, uh, opening, opening, the, uh, opening the gate to the uh, cloud, opening the gate to the cloud to a later speech to be uh, 
to be uh, sent uh, sent to the cloud or to uh, our WISPRO uh, commands, uh, commands detection engine. Okay, so uh, just to summarize regarding the WISPRO, it was the uh, WISPRO is the end-to-end -end wake word detection engine. Okay, and it was designed and trained by SIVA. Uh, we are continuously improving uh, improving our model uh, our model uh, performance. It was uh, it was handcrafted it was uh, handcrafted and Siri relying on the libraries, okay, to get the optimal perf performance of the SIVA DSP cores. And uh, we will on the next slides we will take this WISPRO as a case study of how we took the existing application with an existing trained model and actually made it run uh, using the uh, Google TensorFlow Lite Micro. Okay, so here we will also start with the, uh, with an, a diagram on the right. Okay, that we uh, are actually going and uh, going and replacing and replacing this part of the graph of the execution graph to be executed instead of just handcrafted just handcrafted uh, uh, graph uh, to be executed by the runtime engine, which is the TensorFlow uh, TensorFlow Lite uh, for microcontrollers. Okay, so uh, actually the work itself is divided to two uh, parts. One is the work on the model itself and the other one is the work on the uh, application. Okay, while uh, after, after we uh, integrate the application in, we can just easily to change uh, the uh, model, model to a more trained or a, I mean more advanced one or a, another, another keyword model. Okay, so first of all, we, uh, we will do all the required tasks for converting the model into something that can be uh, easily integrated into the TensorFlow, for, uh, TensorFlow Lite for microcontrollers. And on the other side, we will uh, prepare the project, uh, we will prepare the project and application to be run on your, uh, on your device. Okay, all these, all these stages are listed here, but I prefer to show it in a bit uh, different way. We will look at it as in a graphical graphical diagram. So the first thing we see, the first thing we see at, that we can uh, obtain the uh, WISPRO TensorFlow uh, based model, okay? And we will use the TensorFlow to TensorFlow Lite converter supplied by Google. And we will get the WISPRO TensorFlow Lite compatible uh, model, okay? Which uh, we will use on uh, the TensorFlow Lite to TensorFlow Lite for microcontrollers converter. And we will get the uh, um, ready model for integration with the uh, WISPRO, uh, with the TensorFlow Lite for microcontrollers uh, library uh, into, uh, to go into the application. On the side of the application, we will have the uh, TensorFlow Lite, uh, optimized TensorFlow Lite micro uh, for Siva BX cores library. Okay, and the WISPRO project we had, okay, we had before. So we will add the TensorFlow Lite micro uh, library to the project. We will implement the TensorFlow Lite Micro interface function to be uh, easily to be easily uh, interchangeable with the, uh, the current uh, handcrafted uh, execu inference execution model. We will replace this model execution with the function we just developed, okay, and integrate everything uh, and integrate everything, everything together with the with, uh, together with the model, okay, and then we get the WISPRO uh, TensorFlow Lite for micro applications for microcontrollers application. So if we look uh, on a high level, if we look on a high level uh, onto uh, these two diagrams, it uh, turns out that the only thing that will need uh, to be replaced, okay, from, uh, from our cu current application to something that will based on the uh, Google's framework, it's the, uh, it's the model uh, inference itself, okay, which means the handcrafted, handcrafted graph will be replaced by the, uh, something that will rely on the uh, runtime, Google, uh, Google runtime uh, library of the TensorFlow, uh, TensorFlow Lite uh, for microcontrollers. Okay, and once we get that, actually we are uh, finished. Uh, in case of, uh, in case of uh, the, our WISPRO engine, it took just uh, changing five lines of uh, actual code. All the other things were seamless. 
So uh, for the sum summary of uh, this small uh, presentation is that the uh, TensorFlow Lite for microcontrollers is a subset of, of the bigger, uh, bigger brother, which is TensorFlow Lite. Uh, while in its in stone, it's a subset of the complete TensorFlow, uh, TensorFlow uh, product. Uh, existing models can be easily converted by the standard tools supplied by Google from TensorFlow to TensorFlow Lite Micro. Okay, while uh, providing all the play operations are is supported by the TensorFlow Lite Micro, because it, it is still, as I said, it is a, a it is ongoing project and, and it is doesn't support yet all the feature set. Uh, developed by the Google. But if you don't, the missing operators can be pretty easily added by the developer into the, into the code. Okay, any model that can be converted to the TensorFlow, uh, TensorFlow Lite Micro can be easily and seamlessly executed on the CVBX. Okay, without any intervention to the, uh, to the code. Everything is already done and optimized. Okay, and as an example, we have seen uh, the Siva with ProWay Cord Engine. Okay, SIVA is an acti active contributor for a TensorFlow Lite Micro project, which means that we continuously work with Google. We are helping them adding more and more support to the operators into the TensorFlow Lite Micro framework. Okay, which are a, actually helping our customers to reduce, uh, reduce the time to market. A TensorFlow Lite uh, Micro control for microcontrollers on SIVA BX is optimized to run efficiently or on or of our uh, SIVA BX core. And the, once we uh, we are we, we can find any way to, or any or any room to more optimization, we do it to uh, to make it uh, more robust, more easy, and more time saving for our customers. Okay. Thank you very much.